Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to record a Zoom meeting on your desktop and on the mobile device. I want to show you how to do it if you're the host of the meeting or if you're just a participant and you've been invited by someone else that's hosting the meeting. I'll show you both ways. And this is actually free for anyone. You don't have to have the paid upgrade. The paid upgrade does give you this little addition that I'm going to show you that's really useful, but you don't have to have it to record the Zoom meeting. So let's get started. Right now, I'm the host of the meeting. So let me show you how to record as the host of the meeting. All you have to do is come down here and there is a record option. This should be there by default. Now I'm going to show you some things in the settings of the app as well to make some changes to this. But if you press this here, you see I have two different options. By default, you only get record on the computer, so you won't get this little up arrow. The paid program gives you this option record to cloud so it won't take up room on your computer. This is very useful and I'll show you an easy, easy way to share this if you get the pro plan, which is the paid plan right after the free plan. But if you record to the computer by default, it will start recording. Just right now I'm recording. You see this little recording option on top. And again, I'm the host of the meeting recording the meeting. When I press stop at any time, by the way, this records the screen, the different video files here. Even if you share your screen, it will record that. But let me go ahead and press stop. Now that I press stop, it actually still hasn't saved the file. That happens when you end the meeting. So let me go ahead and end the meeting to show you what happens at the end. So if you want to record the whole meeting, don't press stop till right near the end of the meeting. When you press end meeting, I'm going to say end meeting for everyone. And then you get this pop up converting the meeting recording to an MP4 file. And then it should show you on your desktop if you record it to the computer. If you have the paid version and the cloud option, I'll show you that in a second. So where is this exactly on the computer? Well, you could find that out in the Zoom meeting under the preferences. On the Mac, it's just under the Zoom menu here. And you go to preferences on the PC, I believe it's under the edit menu, but find preferences here. And on this window, you want to go to this recording option, click that. And this is the local recording. This is where it's getting recorded on your computer. So you'll go ahead and select this and choose a different destination if you want, or just let it go to this document slash zoom folder here. And you could press open at any time. And this is it right here, some of the recordings that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, but that's how you would change it. And some of these other settings that you could see over here, you could choose a destination every time. So it will give you kind of a pop up to tell you where to record it. If you don't want the default, you could record separate audio for each participant. I don't usually do that. Optimize for third party editor, add timestamp. Adding timestamp just shows you kind of the time of day of the recording. It'll give it a little timestamp there. Record during screen share. I do want that. So when you share your screen by default, it's on. So mine looks exactly like this. Again, if you have the paid plan, you'll see a cloud recording option over here. And looks like I still have a gig of cloud recording storage left. I'll show you cloud storage in a second, but let's just jump in and show you how to do it if you're not the participant of the meeting. So I'll start a new meeting. I'll invite Kevin again and I'll show you when Kevin tries to record what happens. All right, now Kevin has joined the meeting. Let me go over here to gallery view. And again, if I press record, this is me recording. But if Kevin presses record, he's going to get a little pop up that he needs permission from the host. No one could record if the host doesn't allow them to record. So Kevin got a little pop up that says get permission from the host. So what I need to do is I need to go to this participants window over here to see everybody. And the person that asked me permission, maybe they send me a little chat. I just have to go to their name here and press the more option and I have to allow them to record. So I'll press that over here. And now if they press record, it will let them record the screen over here. And as you could see, it will show me that they are recording. So you see that little record icon. So you definitely need permission to record the meeting. So the host knows you're recording the meeting. I just press stop on Kevin's recorder and you see that little record icon is gone. And then when the meeting ends, it's going to save it to their computer or the cloud version if they have the paid option. And let me show you on the Zoom website. If you go to that account tab and you're the host, go to the settings icon over here and there's a recording option. I just want to show you how this works under the recording. There's other options here that you could check on and off 
for more precise recordings. There's a lot more options here, especially when it comes to cloud recording. You could also set automatic recording. So record meetings automatically when they start as the host. Now this is some of the host settings that I have over here. So you could just explore these on your own. I usually don't change anything here, but some useful things to know. And there's this recording tab too I want to show you. This is one of the reasons I upgraded my Zoom account because the cloud recording makes it a lot easier to share. So as soon as the process is done, it says processing recording, you could easily share this just over here. That's different than the local recording, the one that recorded to your computer, which is a little bit more difficult to share than this cloud version. So now that the processing is done over here, I could just press share over here and I could either choose a publicly or choose different users here. So all these options I have available for sending this out. I could also copy to clipboard and just email it to someone and they'll have a link here to view that file. At any time, I could also press more and download the couple of different files that were recorded over here or just delete them off my cloud to clear up more space. Let's look at the mobile app too. I just wanna show you quickly where the setting is for recording there. Inside of the Zoom app, when you're in the middle of a meeting, you can record but you need two things. You need to be the host. If you're a participant, you need the Zoom desktop version to record. And you also need to have the paid upgrade. So if I click over here and I press the three dots on the bottom of my screen, I have record to the cloud option. Again, that records to the cloud section that I showed you instead of on your device. I'm assuming this is because it will take up a lot of room on your phone and they don't want you to do that. So there's a record to the cloud option. But to get to it again, it's just the three dots on the corner of the screen and you should see that. If you don't see that, that means you don't have the upgraded plan or you're not the host of the meeting. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.